welcome back to the channel you guys see to hear me coming with another video another banger you already know how i come when you come to the channel you feel me i'm already coming crazy and now this build is even crazier you feel me like yeah bro i'm trying to do little small stuff here and there uh most of the time i don't have time to uh post a little small modifications on youtube because they're so small but they're big to me but they're small it's not enough to make a video out of it so um today i've had a i'm gonna answer a couple questions i had a couple people asking me how much i got this car for how much i paid for the car this that and the third and i'm gonna clear something up real quick i don't suggest people going to youtube or the internet in general to ask that type of question you know what i'm saying because everybody doesn't have the same interest rate everybody doesn't have the same credit score everybody doesn't go through the same bank and you definitely don't get the same long term you know what i'm saying for loan term for your uh your car payment so it's kind of hard to go off of what everybody else got like i just tell you like my scat i got it for forty five thousand. i didn't get a deal because i had negative equity I walked out at around like fifty thousand dollars for my scat, and I was paying like six, ten, six, fifteen ish a month, and that was for my scat pack. That was a twenty nineteen brand new zero miles uh, scat pack every month. My car insurance was around two, two thirty ish, I want to say. So I had that car for like a year and a half, two years. So I was paying that monthly payment on top of my car insurance, on top of my other insurance for my other cars and uh going about it that way so this car came around um it was i got it well it was priced at forty five thousand dollars um i had positive equity on my scat pack and i didn't put any money down so my payments are around the same you know what i'm saying like they are a little bit less but they're a little bit more because and it'll make sense in a little bit the payments was less but the payment ended up being more because I added a extended warranty on top of this car. Now the car only has 44,000 miles on it. Yes, but it's a BMW twin turbos, all the other stuff. I don't know. I wasn't the first owner, so I don't know who had this car, how they drove this car before I personally got it. So for me to not buy an extended warranty, I would have been really freaking dumb. Just being honest with you. So I got an extended warranty, uh, three years, 36,000 miles. You know what I'm saying? Cover my butt. I might void it if I get a tune, but hey, whatever. I still have some stuff that's covered under the warranty. I'd rather pay that extra $40, $45 a month to secure my butt than to not have it. You know what I'm saying? To save $40 a month. That's really nothing. Like you eat $40 a week. You might as well just go ahead and put that on your butt. You know what I'm saying? Hold it and and be safe. On the, on the safe side because you never know how they drove this car they could have been dogging it you know what i'm saying but i doubt that because i have the car facts and all the other stuff and um it was only driven like four thousand miles a year but um i just wanted to cover my butt so my monthly payments are up under seven let's just say that i'm up under seven thousand seven thousand seven hundred dollars a month uh my car insurance went down like 40 something dollars a month so the money that i'm paying extra it's not really paying extra because my car insurance went down so i'm still breaking even you know what i'm saying and i got more horsepower and i'm in a different car you know what i'm saying so i really didn't lose if that makes sense so i went about it that way to answer y'all questions i'm paying around under seven let just say under seven about 650 a month um car insurance went down a whole bunch 40 something dollars a month that's that's good, you know what I'm saying? It's always a plus, but it's also an older vehicle. So, I mean, it's pros and cons to everything. I'd rather take this vehicle than my scat because of what was going on in the city. So I ended up doing that, going about it that route, and I didn't lose. Some other people probably would have lost. I didn't lose, so I took it that way. But this video, I'm actually gonna show y'all what I've done to the car. Um, I've been doing little small modifications here and there. I installed my dash cam again. I didn't put the rear dash cam up again because this the headliner is so tight on this car. Ooh. The headliner is so tight on this car that I don't want to have to bend it down to try to put the dash cam running all the way through the back of the car. This that the third. So I left that one out. Put the front dash cam up so I got front and inside the cabin. That's fine with me. Um 
Beamer code, if y'all haven't, if y'all don't know about BMWs, they have Beamer code. So I coded in the mirrors to open and close or lock. Whenever you unlock the car, it opens with the car. And I'll show you what that looks like. And then whenever I lock the car, it'll close. You know what I'm saying? Folding mirrors. So kind of dope. Um, all other stuff that I can change with the car, change the, the hue or how bright the daytime running lights was. Like little small stuff here and there. Some stuff in the cluster, change all that stuff. Um, that was with Beamer code, and then I added a spoiler and the black M5 emblem. So I'm gonna get outside the car and show you what it looks like. Oh yeah, and I did end up going and adding my Instagram name on the car. So that's the Instagram name. I don't know if I want to add the YouTube banner like I had before on the back side. I don't feel like it'll look right. So I, I'm leaving that off for now. Um. But here's the carbon fiber spoiler. End up adding that maybe like a week ago, which it looks really freaking clean on the back side of the car. It's not too big, but it pops just enough. So I really like that little touch. I could have went bigger and I might go bigger, maybe like a week, two weeks, three weeks, but I'm gonna let this settle in and see how well I like it. But I'm looking at a diffuser right now. The M5 emblems, you can see they are gloss black. They was silver before, so change that out. Those are the two things that I did recently. I'm trying to find what exactly uh, the fuse I want to go with. They have different brands, different types, just like on the scat pack. So I got to figure out which one I want to go with. I'm trying to find new emblems, which I don't think they actually make any other color emblems for these cars. Like most people are doing like vinyl layovers, like stickers, because I want to make these black. You know what I'm saying? And so I have white and get rid of the blue. That's pretty much what I'm trying to do, get rid of the blue, but I can't find actual solid emblems to do that. They have all black dot ones, but I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I might turn out the tail lights to get the black thing going. Wheels, I've been looking at those. They're coming real soon. Just gotta find what I want to do. I might actually do that today they have the carbon fiber mirror covers like that white piece you can snap that off and put a carbon fiber black piece on there which that will go crazy i'm pretty sure it'll go crazy um i might have to go to a shop and get these the chrome deleted on these i want these gloss black if i order them they're like 400 dollars, but they also don't come with the m5 logo on it so i don't know what i want to do about that I pretty much want to delete all the chrome on the car. Literally. Like these two. Delete all the chrome. Got to. But do I got my keys? I'm gonna show y'all what the folding mirrors look like. Like the car is unlocked. And they fold in like that. It's something slight, but it's something that the scat didn't have. And I think it's really freaking dope to have. And then when I unlock the car, boom, get inside the car. It's pretty dope, bro. Like the car is so far advanced for the 2014. It blows my mind, bro. It blows my mind. But I like it. I like it so much. I'm looking for intakes too. And what y'all think about uh, wrapping these crossbars back there? Wrapping them white and have the intakes come through the front on each side, white as well. I don't know, I've been, I've been looking, but I just need to know where a decent website is so I can get all this stuff from, because I don't want to buy some janky stuff, Amazon, you know what I'm saying? And then I'd be sick because it throw codes or it doesn't, it's not worth the money. So, BMW family, I need y'all to goddamn put me in the game. Let me know where I can get all this stuff from. I need intakes, I need down pipes, I need charge pipes, in a cooler. Um, I want to know the best tune for this car so I can get around like 650s to the wheels. And I'd be happy with that. Stage two, I'd be happy. So, I need y'all to plug me in. Hit me up on my Instagram. That's going to be down below. You see my Instagram name on the car. But hit me up on my Instagram, send me some links.
Let me know what I can get, what I need to get. If I'm missing anything on the car, let me know. I got the grills coming in Friday, which those are chrome. I have the all black ones coming in tomorrow. So, um, gonna be plugged in right there. Get rid of all the chrome on the car for sure. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, more content coming soon. Just gotta find out where to get all this stuff from that I want to buy and purchase for this car. I don't wanna cut corners on this car, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is German, so, um, if I, I know for a fact, if I go crazy with this car, it's gonna be a dummy build, you know what I'm saying? Like, not a lot of people are riding around the city, you know what I'm saying? that can copy this this flow on this car so that's why i'm trying to be different i'm going to be different with this car so uh stay tuned for sure i definitely might pull the trigger on those uh mirror caps today and i might go get intakes because the intakes i want come out to the front of the car so definitely might pull the trigger on all that stuff so stay tuned and make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one